a quick and simple guide on SPF beauty, how I like to layer, and little summer beauty tips that keep you feeling fresh. Everything is linked below. This is also your friend and this is also your friend. This is a silk hair tie from Crown Affair. They come in a set of three for $15 where they have larger scrunchies. This is from Free People. I have been to the moon and back looking for the perfect hair clip because they always destroy on me. My hair is so thick. This has lasted me for two and a half years now. Even has grips. It's so insanely sturdy. They have so many different colors and designs of this that are really cute. These are the shades I use from Key. I got this particular shape because you want to get the shape that frames your face that looks like your face. So my face is kind of like this and then goes in. So these reminded me of these Christian Dior shades that are not a Christian Dior price. For $60 from Nordstrom, here are the variations of sun protection that I have been using lately and I use all the time. I have lived with sun damage as a teenager. It is brutal. I had to go to the dermatologist. Lip balm is often forgotten. I have this also in the color Firecracker. I think it's in the car. I just flipped the house upside down right now. But <laughs> this is Skinny Dip. I'm light skin. Summer, I can be light medium. So this makes my face, my lips completely disappear. It looks like I have no lips at all. This is, I think, meant for really, really fair skin. Weird on me if I go out in public, so I wear this at home. Bombs, once they hit $11, they become total garbage and make your lips peel because they're cheap hyaluronic acid that, that destroy your lips and then they also make you purchase more lip balm which is just crazy to me. This is not luxury price at $40, this is $18. They have even more colors so check them out. This is Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Foundation with Sunscreen. It's SPF 50 and I learned not to keep it on for more than 4 hours. Wash it off right away when you get home. Really blocks your pores. Wait, I got a skin, uh, a heat rash when I was wearing this because it's really, it's like cement. Either avoid this or get it because it's $7. This is my perfect skin color. It's almost exact in my complexion, which is why I purchased it. I've been to all the kiosks at the department store, all the luxury ones. They don't have my exact color, but this one does. This is what I have in my bag. I used to have the big version. I went through it so fast. This is genius to have. If you have a regular size sunscreen, remember that you can put it in a small container. I use sometimes old probiotics container, <laughs> so don't open this unless you need sunscreen. But this is really handy because it feels like velvet. It's not oily at all. This this is the ultimate sunscreen and I'm gonna get the jumbo version. I'm gonna get uh, a year's worth of supply of this for the new house. So give this a try even if it's just a mini version. Uh, this is definitely worth it and they came out with a full face and body version so check that out. This is more of a sunscreen than a moisturizer. This is Origins A Perfect World SPF 40. I used to just get the moisturizer itself. It's a really good moisturizer, but then it also doubles as a sunscreen. It feels more like a sunscreen with all the zinc that they have. Zinc is a good thing. A lot of people say Oh, according to the EWG, you're not supposed to use certain uh, skincare products that are harmful because you don't know what they could be doing. They could cause cancer and all these things. I think they've been using zinc for a long time because it works. This one, I really don't mind just as a sunscreen, but not as a pure moisturizer because I don't feel like it moisturizes me that well, but it has the chalkiness of SPF. Still go get this. Feels like Vaseline, but not sticky and oily. It's even more matte than that without making you feel like a desert. This is a matte primer and this makes you feel like a desert. It's <laughs> it's pasty and it's SPF 50 from Francois Nar Nars. Nar Nar. It's one ounce and it's really good for a primer. It really holds your makeup intact, but I like to use it alone. Summertime, I just like to use sunscreen and then lip balm and then maybe some eyebrows. This is the Elia Magic Sands Radiant Translucent Powder SPF 20. So I got this in the light tone. They also have a deeper tone, but then they also have without color. So it's clear translucent powder. I don't really use this as much because it makes me look too glam. I like to have it. This is another layering. This is for the body. This was less than $10. I think it was $6.99 or something on Amazon and it's 100 percent mineral sun protection this is the one that makes you look super white like you look like a ghost <laughs> my husband used it yesterday and he looked like a vampire You're outside working and it's gonna be a long day definitely use this this one is fenty's moisturizer spf 30 i've been using this travel edition because my husband got it for me in a set this when you're traveling it's a good idea if you're gonna go on a weekend trip i like the scent personally but i wouldn't want to wear it every day also it feels like there's i don't know i just have this feeling of when you use a ton of chemicals that's what it feels like i wouldn't suggest buying this over and over and over you can buy it to try it go ahead go to sephora get a sample of it if that's your thing if you like scented things because it smells lovely actually but it's just a bit too strong for every day this when i got it it was 90 dollars now i think it's 110 dollars for this sunscreen that feels like a regular copper tone brand sunscreen like the the one you have when you're a kid and you go to the beach and you slather yourself it's so expensive don't buy this it's very oily it made me break out <laughs> this is the holy grail for me <laughs> this is very expensive this is why i am trying not to be tan because i'm trying to use up on my la mer soft moisture powder foundation this is spf 30 in blossom this breathable 
perforated spot here for the sponge, but the sponge is also replaceable. I will show you. I like it because it's a wide mirror compact. This sponge is the type that you can replace. I use a a fluffy but dense brush to collect the powder and add it on because if I'm going out in the afternoon or if I'm going somewhere important, like if I'm gonna see a property or something. I love this compact because it's wide. It looks very unique. For example, I'm not using my Gucci press powder. It's a little circle, so you're not going like this <laughs> when you're in the ladies' bathroom. You're just looking at yourself and you, you don't have to move around. It's really easy. Such a weird inconvenience. It's really handy also because you can use it forever as a mirror. Even when the foundation's done, you can pull this out and replace it. I just want to remind you with sun protection lip balm that your skin has a chemical that protects your skin from the sun for the most part. Your lips don't, so your lips will get really thin and shriveled if you don't use sun protection on your lips. I like to have tinted lip balm SPF because it looks like you're going out for the day, you're deliberately wearing it when you want to look good, but also there are clear renditions of that same lip balm. Sign up to my newsletter linked below for monthly style inspo. You'll get tons of mood boards with classic elegant style inspiration. Follow me on LTK and Instagram at GHG Dixon for more style. I hope you enjoyed this. Give this a like, subscribe, and click the bell for more elegant style and high quality living. I kind of have the best audience in the world. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.